Hi, boys and girls. I am sorry that I'm not seeing your faces in the classroom this week, but I am excited that we have the technology that we can still have music class and we can still learn and create music and have fun together. So let's start off by singing to one another. Hello, boys and girls. Great. Hello, girls. Hello, boys. Beautiful. And remember that we're using our solfege language when we sing hello to one another. I use so and me. Hello, boys and girls. And you use so and me. And sometimes some friends throw in what? Allah, that's right. Hello, Miss Amy. Beautiful. Let's review our solfege and our hand signs. Do, re, mi, fa, so, la, ti, do. And back down. Good. Let's do our sight reading and sight singing game where I show you the sign and you sing the pitch. So I'll start easy. Do. Me. Ray. Do. So. Good. I gave you that one. Me. Do. Me. So. Do. Ti. Do. Good. Good job. Excellent. All right. For this lesson, we're gonna celebrate St. Patrick's Day and do a little bit of Irish music. So you will need some rhythm sticks. I don't have rhythm sticks at home, but I have two popsicle sticks, two pencils, two spoons, anything that doesn't have a sharp point on it that you can use to tap together will work perfectly. You can pause the video if you need to go run and grab those, but we are going to do an Irish Piper song. I'm gonna stay seated while we do this song, but you can feel free to stand up and move around and march to the steady beat. He had a golden flute, they say. His eyes sparkled when he played. Every day he came to town, all the children came around to follow him along his way. Sticks ready? Sticks ready. Follow the piper. Tiptoe, tiptoe, tap, tap. Tiptoe, tiptoe, tap, tap, jump front, jump back, turn around and tap, 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 good, march in place, tiptoe, tiptoe, tap, tap, tiptoe, tiptoe, tap, tap, jump front, jump back, turn around and tap, 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 Nice, that was a fun movement activity. 
to celebrate some Irish music. Now we're gonna sing our two songs next that we've been working on. Um, the first one is Everyone is Irish on St. Patrick's Day. And I've asked Miss Carmel to upload um, the lyrics for you on Google Classroom so you can follow along either on your computer or you can print them out and have them. We have permission from K8 Music since everyone's teaching remotely to give you guys this. So you can have it. Everyone is Irish. <clears throat> has a lot of words. Let's sing. Everyone is Irish. Everyone is Irish. Everyone is Irish on St. Patrick's Day. So wear a little green and let your heart be merry. For everyone is Irish on St. Patrick's Day. See the beauty of shamrocks in the field. See the dales with so many shades of green. job. That is a fun and festive song. And next we're going to sing green because in springtime all things are green because they are blooming. Let me get that CD in for us. <clears throat> That is a fun song to sing. Excellent. 
So our last activity, we are going to review the rhythm that we've been working on. Remember, there's two parts to music. There's the pitch, how high and how low the note is on our scale and our staff, which is what we do with our solfege hand signs. And then there's rhythm. How long do we hold it? How short? And we've been working on it. Um, I'm gonna come behind the piano bench here, so hopefully you can see. But we've been working on our steady beat and reading that rhythm notation. So if I put four steady beats down here, and I'm gonna clap a rhythm, and we're gonna notate it here. And I'm gonna use popsicle sticks in the drum today. But at home, you can use anything. You can use toothpicks if you have them. You can just write on paper, but I really want you all to hone both your solfege singing, that pitch, how high or how low, and our rhythm, because those are the two key components to reading music. So here are my four beats in my measure, and I'm going to clap the rhythm So while I clap that again, I want you to be thinking how many sounds per beat. This is our steady beat with our four beats in the measure. Here I go. So the first steady beat, I had one sound in that beat. So I'm going to put one popsicle stick. The second steady beat, I had one sound. It doesn't matter what color you use. The third beat, I have two sounds in that steady beat. So I'm going to put two popsicle sticks or two lines and then I'm going to hook them together so they don't go anywhere. And the last one. one sound. And when we read this in our rhythm language, the one sound per steady beat are ta's, two sounds per steady beat are ti ti, ti ti, two sounds per the steady beat. So if I were going to read this in the rhythm language, keeping the steady beat, here I go, ta, ta, ti ti, ta. Let me do another one. We know from class that every note that makes a sound has a rest that has the same rhythm value. It's just that many beats of silence. And when we do that, we're just gonna put a popsicle stick at the very bottom. So here's my steady beat. Here's my rhythm. Listen again. My first steady beat, I had two sounds. So I'm gonna make my TT right here. My second beat, no sounds. Silence, a rest. One sound per steady beat. I'm gonna put my ta and the last one, another ta. So let's clap and count this together using our rhythm language. Ready, set, and here we go. T, T, ta, ta. Excellent. The last one I wanna give you before I give you your assignment for the week. What happens? if I have four sounds in a steady beat. So here's my steady beat. Here I go. Ooh, listen again. So let's figure it out together. First steady beat, ta. 
ta. One, two, three, four. I have four sounds in that steady beat. So I'm going to put four popsicle sticks down. And then I'm going to hook them together. But then I'm going to hook them together again so they don't go anywhere. Because there's twice as many of them. So I've got four popsicle sticks hooked together twice. So my rhythm was ta, ta, two sounds in that steady beat. So I'm going to make a TT. Here we go. Two popsicle sticks and hook together. Boys and girls, when we have four sounds per steady beat, we call that ticka ticka. Ticka ticka. Four sounds and one beat. So let's read this together using our rhythm language and clapping. Ready, set, and here we go. Ta, ta, ticka, ticka, tee, tee. Excellent. So now you know ta's, tee, tees, ticka, tickas, rest, that equals one beat. So your assignment this week is to write five rhythms on your paper, just like this, or make them with these symbols and then clap and count them out loud using our rhythm language. I know you're gonna do a great job. I will see you guys next week. We will do some more with our solfege and our rhythms, and we may even do a dance or two, so get ready. Thanks so much for tuning in. Bye guys. Goodbye, boys and girls.